Hi everyone, in this video I am going to show you a software I made and a sketch I made for the Arduino um, to show the current task that I'm running using the Boeing software called also the Berkeley Open Infrastructure for Network Computing and the software what it what will do what it will do is fetch the running work units of the Berkeley Open Infrastructure for Network Computing software otherwise known as Boeing um, here you can see the tasks that I'm running right now and the software will fetch this task um, you can see it over here by making use of this library that allows us to write software to internet with the point software with the point RPC protocol um, using the Microsoft Net Framework um, so this software is written in Visual Basic and it sends the working work unit, the, the running work unit, you can see here, I specified to only get the active tasks, the, the running work units, and it will send it using the communication, the, the COM port of the Arduino, the serial port of the Arduino, and here you can see that it is sending those, um, the, it is sending the work unit using the, the COM port. So here is the sketch, you can see right now, this is the, the sketch, um, what it does, it, it, it is continuously reading the serial communication and it will then, um, when it gets the work unit name, the project, the percentage and the estimated time to completion, it will then print it on the LCD screen. So I already uploaded the sketch over here. I'm going to run this software so you can see it working. It is very easy to use. You have to write here the IP of the computer. You can also use um, localhost if you want to retrieve the, the current computer work units. The port which is 31416, um, that is the default port. And then you write the password. Then here you are going to enter the COM port of the Arduino which you can get here you can see COM3 is the communication port of the Arduino so all we have to do is press the send task to LCD here and we can see the Arduino it is showing us the Boink work units that are running now you can check this if this is true by checking it on the software let's wait for the next work unit now it, it has a, a bug here um, this happens only on the first time it is running, I don't know why. Um, however, the code will be published in, in GitHub and the source code will be available in the comments of this video so you can check it out and maybe fix it. Um, but this only happens on the first time it runs, on, in the first loop, I don't know why. So, you can see it is showing, uh, the first line shows the work unit that is running, the second line shows the project, then the percentage done and then the estimated time to completion and you can check this again let's see the next slide you can check it here on the software um, because it is fetching that data so you can check if that is true which is true because we are interacting with the uh, with the with the Boink software by using the RPC protocol in other words this is a loop here this is this is a loop, a loop that is working in the background um, why in the background because this is uh, another thread and this runs in a separate read, uh, separate thread that is not the main thread over here you can see the software is responsive so it is not locked out it is running everything here is running in the background you can see background worker do work so this loop continuously runs and when it finished reading all the active tasks, it continues again, it continues again. Um, now, how does the software know that the, it finished displaying uh, um, one work unit and it will send another work unit to show on the Arduino? Well, you can see, right? Right now, at this very moment, it sends a signal to the software that tells I finished displaying, send me and the next work unit. Um, that is by using this over here will receive data equals zero, receive data with line. If the line says OK, then it will change the receive data to one. And then it will send another work unit because it will get out of this world loop. You can see 
At the very end, when we show this, we send an OK. The software reads that and it sends the next work unit. So, again, the software will be made available, will be available in GitHub. So, you can check it out, make your um, Arduino LCD screen to, to show the your work units um, in the Arduino. And this is very useful because you can turn off your computer monitor and you can check if the tasks are running, you can check um, the task, the estimated time to completion and the percentage, you know. Um, and it is very easy to set up as well because all you have to do is enable the RPC protocol in the Berkeley Open Infrastructure for Network Computing. And on the Arduino side, you just have to follow how to connect a standard LCD, a standard liquid crystal display. To the Arduino, I haven't done anything else. This is using the standard LCD connectors over here. Um, so if you follow that um, tutorial, which is available in the Arduino website, you just set up the LCD, then you run the software, you download the sketch, and you're ready to go. You're ready to go. And this is what I've been working. So I hope you like this video. If you did, please like this video, comment on it, share it with your friends, and download this software, play with this software, play with the Arduino. And well, that's basically all. You can see that we haven't had that glitch. Again, um, it is displaying the data how it is supposed to be, so I really don't know why the, the glitch that we experienced first um, was happening. It doesn't happen again. So yeah, so that's all. And thank you for watching this video. And remember to subscribe to my channel, to like this video, comment on it, share it with your friends, and all of that. So, thank you for watching again.